Virgo, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. For <laughs> Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Virgo Tarot reading. Virgo, love tarot reading. Virgo, love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, whoa, Virgo love... <laughs> Gosh, Virgo love messages, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Your cards were just attacking me. <laughs> they were going crazy. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look at the energy. What is that? Three of pentacles, nine of pentacles. It's showing itself in reverse, Mars and Capricorn energy. So it's kind of like, well, it's what it's like, is what it is. It's not communicating, not not communicating, but I think somebody is maybe wanting to come in here. The Nine of Pentacles coming here in the upright. Virgo, this is your energy. Virgo and Mercury energy. Looks like you're doing okay. And it looks like somebody might be coming in here, and this is someone you are not communicating with. No contact, no communication, and or in separation. So that's a validation. Your cards just feel wild today. What's going on? That's wanting to be yours as well. Page of Cups. All that ruckus. <laughs> it's the Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody who's, yeah, kind of, well, there's like an immature energy here. It's also emotionally. And like some fear around opening up with that that's for sure of course we could be dealing with somebody who's younger it doesn't mean that you are we are three of wands in the sun so somebody's getting ready to make some kind of move here our luminary the sun a new cycle the sun connected to the solar plexus chakra i do coming here with the three of wands the sun and aries a coming together energy, like working together. Could be somebody's literally traveling. But I think it's something you've been waiting for. So here's the thing. It's the wand energy around the movement, matters of the heart, things being revealed. But they're holding on to a ship, which of course is around travel and direction. So it could be literal travel. But it's also somebody coming in. And it's here, of course, where you put it on the water the emotional energy, and also the divine energy around some timing. And this is a divine number, and this is divine timing. Somebody planning to make that move, because it's sort of like you get out of the Two of Wands, thinking about it, and then you make the move, buy the ticket, jump in the car, send the message in the Three of Wands, you know? Okay, let's see Virgo. Hello again. Welcome to your reading. This is where we go into their feelings for you. Is there something you need to know? Is somebody making a move? What's on their mind? Something maybe you don't see coming. Also, of course, we go into channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. If you want to check out your Zodiac readings, you'll find them linked in the description below of today's reading, also on the channel under the playlist tab where you'll find all 12 zodiac signs, also all signs, tarot readings, collective love readings. If you're on a twin flame journey and you wanna watch twin flame readings, you'll also find them below and on the playlist tab here at the Tarot Closet. Okay, let's take a look at this energy that's coming in. It's the King of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so here's the thing. It's kind of like this, <laughs> why? because there is no contact here, or it's just not really great. Gemini and Mercury energy. And then we have the Nine of Cups, you know, and this is around wish fulfillment, but it can be the opposite. And I do think that you've been waiting. There's just, you just haven't talked to this person. I feel like it's just been too long, you know? So it's a lot of this all-encompassing energy of where we are, but also where I think things are going, which is also the king of swords, communication. Somebody who's thinking about what to say, what they want to say. Because there's definitely an emotional 
kind of holding back energy here. Maybe around age doesn't necessarily mean that, but some immature energy, you know? So trying to figure it out and definitely around here also in that Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment around that. So like the call finally coming in or the message or perhaps the talk that you've been planning and if you can see each other. I know that's not for everybody. Okay, let's see what's going down. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I really appreciate it. Let's continue on, Virgo. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Nine of Wands in reverse. Ooh, look at that. I just want to show you the upright energy. Nine of Wands, the moon, and Sagittarius energy here. It's sort of like... Nothing's been happening, so like enough time. It's like this is over. Definitely some hurt around this relationship, you know. There's a thorn. Look, it's going straight through the rose. And you can see all of the hurt on our person and depicted today in the Nine of Wands. And it's like, okay, defenses can be down, like getting ready to... Things come under fruition, getting close to that ten of wands and getting out of no contact, you know, getting ready for that eight of wands here, the communication. Like time passing, being able to put defenses down. And it's coming with the queen of pentacles, so that's really more, oh, that yeah, look, <laughs> getting the strength to do that. It's just really clear, which is a very healing energy, a Gaia energy. It's my protege to the empress you know, can make things work that we're not. Very resourceful. New beginnings. There's our little bunny look. Fertility. Matters of the heart. There are two there, actually. There's two little bunnies there. Yeah. Could be literal around, you know, little energy, like family energy. But this is a lot around this person trying to open up. They've really hurt you, your heart, you know, like emotionally. This is them literally here trying to open up and communicate the emotional availability, speaking the truth. There is a strong chemistry between you that sometimes can get really overwhelming. The strength card, Leo, of course, and the strength card is connected to the heart chakra. The King of Cups in reverse. There are those feelings. Look. Yeah. So getting the courage to connect with that because this is somebody who has not been communicating. It's just really clear and has been either hiding feelings by way of just not sharing them. King of Pentacles. Definitely by way of behavior, the Two of Cups. It's coming in reverse. Here with the Queen of Swords, this is the no contact waiting for... <laughs> look, look at this energy of the weight today. And our Two of Cups in Reverse, Virgo, Cancer, Venus in Cancer energy with the Queen of Swords, the truth. Libra ruled by Venus here, waiting. Yes, this is because this is the no contact energy here in our Two of Cups, the separation. There may have been some discord between you. And look at that. It's connecting right here, Caddy Corner, with our Queen of Pentacles, this healing energy. Obviously, there's hurt. Look, what's on the other side of the queen who's here to kind of, and the king of pentacles. I just saw that. Yeah, okay. You're both here. And their, their energy around it, the relationship is getting into more balance. So there's definitely some putting down some defenses here, but they're really trying to get over themselves, get over their pride, some fear to come here with the truth. It's definitely around feelings. The king of cups in reverse, the two of cups in reverse. The strength card in the upright and the queen of swords. You're both here as well with our king and our queen of pentacles. King of pentacles, this is your energy. Virgo ruled by Mercury. They're coming in here with a pentacle, with an offer. And this two of swords, get out of their head. That's also really clear. There's, there's definitely, this person has been holding back. But it's been coming in, just even with our... The way our King of Swords and Nine of Cups was coming in for me, it was like 
this is where we are, but this is also where we're heading. So getting out of their pride, their ego, their fear to get out of no contact. That's the strength card of the two of cups in reverse. Waiting for this truth also around, again, feelings. The two of swords get out of your head. The moon and Libra energy. Five of swords in reverse. Yeah, so there was some discord. Yeah, look, and there is an apology around it. The devil in reverse, Capricorn and Saturn energy, getting out of their ego uh, to make this apology, getting out of shadow. It's right here with the nine of wands in reverse. Look at all the hurt there. Yeah, and it's also connecting here with our queen of pentacles. Of course, our major arcana energy here in the devil in reverse. This is like a recovering energy, you know, so it's, it's literally this here. The Knight of Wands. It's like, I don't know how much time has passed or exactly what was said because there's a shadow energy here in our Five of Swords. Venus and Aquarius energy, of course, it's the swords, painful, connected to conflict, change, communication, things that were said. It's connected right here to the Two of Cups and telling me that there was some kind of arguments or discord, you know. So things were definitely said and also things I feel like not said. And that's def that's also very clearly around feelings. But there might be other things here too. What other truths are you waiting for? Our Knight of Wands on, on the move energy, trying to get the courage. Look, the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, that's why we see the strength card here, that major arcana of getting the courage here to come. Our king of wands, it, it's like not ready yet kind of energy. Look, it's here, king of wands in reverse, king of cups in reverse. So getting the heck out of, there you go here. I think there's also an apology here. <laughs> getting out of the ego as I say that. Da -da -da, it's the emperor, yeah. Mars and Aries energy, this is not surprising at all. I gotta tell you though, what I like about this upright energy, divine masculine energy, our emperor who likes to get their way, our cardinal sign, you know, our leader, is there, this is connected to the root chakra energy and this upright energy is telling me that somebody is getting centered and balanced and out of ego, out of shadow, definitely out of ego, which it's strong here, they've been in it, and doing, Opening up communication. So getting out of the no contact to share the truth. There's definitely, again, there's a feeling, there's a feeling, there's a feeling around the truth that's around the feelings. That's what I wanted to say. This Knight of Wands is kind of impulsive, but really on the move, our knight here, and it's heading right toward the devil in reverse, and that's right. There is an apology, yeah, look. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. So the Five of Pentacles, Mercury and Taurus, it's a validation for me of the no contact. And, you know, look, the rose is here wilted. We saw that coming in. It's here with the Nine of Wands. There's a thorn going right through it. This is, it's a validation for me that you're not talking, that there's a loss here. This person is, is, is missing you and feeling bad is what I want to say too. And it's coming in reverse and that's, Again, it's like a recovering energy, what they lost. So they're coming here to recover. <laughs> that sounds funny, but you, because the king and the queen of pentacles are here. And interestingly enough, they're like my little mini emperor and the empress. And we do have our king of cups, our king of wands, and we did see the king of swords. So we're one king and the king of pentacles. We're not one king shy. Yeah, the king of swords, which we saw coming in, isn't on the table, but it came in. So that's... The emperor energy which is here but we're also looking at the king of swords which was coming in reverse and the upright for me so it's like where things are but where they're going and they're trying to get the courage to do that literally king of wands in reverse king of cups in reverse to reveal feelings the truth and something else and get the strength here in the leo energy the magician yeah, you're here in this energy, Virgo, with Mercury. You're with Mercury, <laughs> with Gemini, who, of course, you share 
the ruling planet Mercury with, which is this energy. Yeah, as above, so below. Somebody definitely getting it together, getting out of their ego to, to come here. Really get out of shadow and ego to apologize is really big. Getting out of no contact is really strong for me. And it's a validation with the magician as well, who's getting ready to take literally this inspired action. As the magician is connected to the solar plexus chakra I do and the throat chakra I speak. You know, and this is it's a, like there's an energy of opportunity. So it could be a message that just kind of flies in, you know what I mean? Or if you can see each other. Look, we have our swan here. So there are two swans here on the table. It's the two of you. There is a soul, soulmate energy here. New beginnings, the manifesting energy, but somebody making it happen, you know, holding on to their staff, their wand. And that's the other thing with our devil in reverse, five of pentacles. There is an alchemizing energy here, of course. Access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire are magicians. So not just coming here to come here, you know. They're really trying to come here and make some things right. Here we go. Really strong validation with the Three of Wands coming back. We saw the Three of Wands coming in and it's back. The Sun and Aries energy. Divine number. Divine timing. Putting that boat down again. It could be literal travel, but it's also travel toward you. And it's on the emotions here. The, the feelings here in the water, which we see they've been hiding. So they're coming. This is how they feel about you. They've been hiding it. There is an apology here too. And that's around some timing. That's divine energy. Divine number, divine timing, and also that water energy there. And it's sort of like the two of wands is making that decision. And the three of wands, again, it's like getting in the car, sending the message, buying the ticket. Do you know what I mean? Like the actual movement here. And it's right here with the emperor and the magician and the strength card. So getting over their ego to get out of no contact is clear. And temperance is here. <laughs> it sounded like Dr. Seuss. Sagittarius energy, working things out, meeting in the middle. You know, temperance is connected to the heart chakra. And this is Archangel Michael, who specifically is connected to the solar plexus chakra I do, and the throat chakra I speak, who wants to get everybody on the path to the truth for everybody's highest good. So getting over their ego to get out of no contact, the truth, where that's going to lead you, it's not incredibly clear, but you are both here. And it's not about gender, but this is definitely the two of you here in separation as well. So our king and our queen of pentacles with the two of cups in reverse. You waiting here for this communication and that's what we see coming in here. It does have a pretty impulsive energy around it. Yeah, look, and you're definitely tired of waiting. Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. This is waiting for that. But it's also telling me that if you can see them, if you know they're going to be at some kind of an event, or they could be, they, they likely are. The Three of Cups, Mercury, and Cancer Energy. This is around communication. It is a reunion energy, and it can be in person. We could be looking at celebratory type of energy with friends, with family, you know, parties, that sort of thing. But it's also Mercury, and that's strongly connected to reading and writing. So SMS, text messages, social media, but it's Mercury, <laughs> your ruling planet, which is really strong in the, the reading today. So it's just communication in general, you know, whether it's a phone call or if you can see them, you, you've been waiting, you're here in the Seven of Pentacles. Venus and Taurus energy. It's like one foot out the door, maybe two, holding on to this half of this apple. Where's the other half? So that's interesting energy. It's like my other half energy. It's really connecting with temperance today. The two doves here. It's right above the separation or no contact energy of our two of cups in reverse. It's the way to get out of that, to hear from this person what is complete. I'm not privy to all the details of what's around that other than there is somebody here that they do have an apology to make and there is a conversation that needs to happen and that they're trying to make happen that's going to get 
you on the path where you need to go. So whether that's together or it's apart, it's here. And I like that for you because it's clear. Look at the forlorn energy. You're really sick of waiting. Holding on to that apple up here in the tree, the rake against the tree, like all the work, you know, that you've put into this, reaping the rewards, like waiting for it, all the hard work. It's like, well, now what? And you can see the waiting energy here as well, of course, in our Three of Cups. I think that's it. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's just time. You know, it's Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. A new cycle, getting out of no contact. It's like exhausting, you know? You're exhausted waiting. You definitely have a foot in a foot out maybe they're both out but I do feel the energy of, of use both here and it's a strong connection there's there's a strong validation for me that you will be communicating it's just whether it's in person or via message and again that king of, of swords coming in initially was both for me it was validating where you are but also validating where it's going so the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I got to tell you this, the other thing about this is, well, the thing about this is they're all, they've also been holding on to a little bit of ego because there's a lot of humility around the Knight of Pentacles. And it's also like waiting for the, waiting for them, for the reciprocity, for the communication, for them to get out of their ego. Could be that the fear also is just around commitment energy, you know, because you're waiting and this is them not, this is like why it's taking so long. You know, stubborn, I guess you could say. And I'm liking this. Look what is back. And it's the energy that was coming in for me. It was both. But here we go. It's the King of Swords. So we have a validation of our King of Swords back, Gemini, who you share Mercury with. And this is Mercury energy. So part of maybe the weight, I guess you could say, or maybe just if it's even around some kind of an event, is that they're gathering it, like trying to get it together what they're what they want to say like they're gathering their thoughts that's what I wanted to say again Mercury Gemini the sword transactional energy clarity truth communication getting out of no contact and look what's here again our king and our queen of pentacles and our king and our queen of swords so the divine masculine energy around our king of pentacles or excuse me our king of swords but also the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles and the Divine Feminine Energy around the Queen of Swords as well as the Queen of Pentacles. So it's a, valid, it's a balance around this person that they're getting into and that's clear for me. You know, the root chakra energy here of our Emperor is getting out of the imbalance. So this is just really clear and that they're working on, they're coming in here to communicate. Like getting out of the no contact energy has been really clear. And it's also telling me that you're both here and I'm sounding like Dr. Seuss again <laughs> and it's not about gender but it's time to have this conversation you know and wherever it's going to be whether it's in person or there's a message coming in okay yeah <laughs> look so we have both king of wands here too this deck by the way as well has there's a feminine, divine feminine energy here with our King of Wands, which is generally divine masculine energy. So it's a really strong balance around that. And then we have our divine masculine energy, King of Wands in reverse. So it's really also strong validation of the imbalance around the movement, the delay. And coming here with the Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus, the reciprocity that you've been waiting for, that our Knight of Pentacles has not been giving. You're waiting here in the Seven of Pentacles for that. So where this conversation or email or message message or messages are going, it's not incredibly clear, obviously, because you have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone does. The future is not fixed. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will. They do change. But this conversation's got to happen. It's going to happen one way or another. And somehow, whatever that means for you, whether it's, again, in person, a phone call, a message, and it's going to get you on a much nicer path for everybody's highest good here. 
You're, you are both still here and ready to communicate. And the magician is here, you know, ready to and the temperance to help facilitate this conversation and the possibilities, the potential that is still here. This person needs to make this move and the delay is really strong, but we also see that that's coming to an end, you know. So we're getting into some Oracle. I'm not reading it in reverse. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us the cards, Aho. These three are yours. Community. This is a coming together energy. It's also a really strong validation if you are around other people energy. You know, you can see there are other people here. So again, it could be at this Three of Cups type of energy, gatherings, also the Four of Wands, more reunion energy, again, around celebrations could be like homecoming type energy as well but this is a coming together and it's really strong for me i mean it's just validating that if this is in person that it's that there's other people around but it could even be when your phone call or message is coming in but more importantly it's coming together and look at that big tree stump you know or that that tree that's kind of cut here, those are representing, that's really long-term energy, like the life of the tree. That's pentacle energy. That's king and queen of pentacle energy here. Look how they're even connecting today. And actually, I'm going to put this here. Surrender the truth. Get over your ego, your shadow. I'm talking to your person, <laughs> by the way. This bear has been coming out in my readings all day today. Growth as well. Interesting. And the last one, intuition. I like this because it's connecting right here with our bear. It's one of the most instinctive animals next to the wolf and the moon energy. Coming out of hibernation. Like, look, literally on the move. If there's travel here, it's here. Like, literal travel. You can even see it could be really long distances, but just the map energy, the navigation, but our bear is coming out, following their intuition, literally here, heading toward this energy of growth. There's a lot of pentacle energy here. There's communication. So it's like this conversation going somewhere as well. And it's also connecting with this person, like, that they've changed. It's gonna s sound really weird. <laughs> Page of Cups in reverse. Obviously it can be around, well, a lot of it is around some of the emotional holding back energy because there is an energy of coming in with the emotional truth and availability. But it's almost like time passing too of literal or Page of Cups kind of years passing growth and the bear, you know, grown up. Okay, so that's a really specific message. It's not for everybody, but it is here. But this is also around the p potential, the possibilities, look, connecting here with the magician. But I do feel like there's some emotional, also not just age, there's some emotional maturity that's coming through. That's what that is too. Actually really strong. Okay, I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from... Their higher self, Virgo. Right out, the, right out of the gate. I love you. King of Swords, the truth on the Queen of Swords. Could be hearing that. It's right here with growth, with surrender too. Getting over their ego, their pride. I'm, <laughs> I just look down. I'm trying to get over my ego. Yeah, that's what that is reciprocity connected with the challenges there we go strong here could be other things too but yeah there we go there could just be also a lot around fear of commitment but there's definitely a lot around the feelings and just holding on to a lot of things that they should have been saying a long time ago just communicating you know getting out of their ego this is far from over please forgive me You are my other half. 
Interesting look. There was Ciprocity, the Six of Pentacles, with the Seven of Pentacles of you holding on to this other half of the apple. The soul made energy is strong. Soul connection. Our meeting was no accident. So understanding that you were meant to meet. The fade energy. I miss talking to you, Virgo. Yeah. I made a wrong decision. It's here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Coming back to recover what they lost. There with the Three of Wands. You have changed me for the better. It's like they're, I don't know, the time part two, it's like missing you more. Do you think of me too? I have not moved on. I'm lying. I really want you back in my life. I want to talk, but I'm scared. I mean, that's literally what this is. The Strength card, the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, the Emperor, getting over that. Obviously, the Magician here also, and Temperance facilitating that. But the King of Wands in reverse, it's been really clear that there's been a strong energy of that. I really... Ing. <laughs> I really miss you. I really beep. Miss you. If you're looking, you can see there's just dots there. If you're not, you can imagine. I'm trying to get over my fear. Gosh, this is so clear. It's wanting to go over here with our Page of Cups in reverse and the Three of Cups too. So it's like the emotional opening up, the communication, and again, it could be literal. But it's been clear. Ego and fear. Are you ready to know the truth? Queen of Swords, I'm so sorry. And I regret how I left things. Okay. I want to bring in some little ones. And we're going to close your reading, Virgo. We will be together again someday. Don't give up on us. I really want to see you. You are perfect. Don't ever change. I am so lost without you. You are my biggest wish. My world changed when I met you. You are the love of my life. I care too much what people think. I could listen to your voice all day and night. Here with the Three of Cups. Your last channeled love message. Message from their higher self. I have so many regrets. Right here, look. I made a wrong decision. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Wands. Right here also with the other King of Wands in the upright. Coming back here to recover what they lost. You. Beautiful Virgo. That's your reading today. It's been my honor to channel for you as always. Thank you for joining me, for watching sharing, liking, subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Virgo.